which is an Arizona-based U.S. commercial stage specialty pharma company, which focuses on pain management products, but it has the joint venture with AbV in respect of the product we were talking about earlier. Market cap has been a little bit all over the show. It's currently $673 million, not profitable. We're going to go straight to the share chart now, which will show that over five years, it looks like uh, the wall in the Game of Thrones. In other words, it gets up higher and then it goes down. <laughs> Or, or non-existent so the, uh, based on the end of the last Just season. Got melted. <laughs> yeah. Look, there are problems with this. The joint venture is something we can unpack, but there, there's a big opioid scandal at the moment um, in the US. Trump's yes. come out and called it a national emergency. Too many the, people taking too many opium-based uh, painkillers pain and killers. totally zonked as a result. And um, Insys has been accused of not going through the right distribution channels and incentivizing, um, you know, pharmacists and, and, and doctors to, to so overprescribe. So-called off-label promotion. Correct. In fact, a CEO was removed in this company because they did some stuff which they apparently weren't supposed to. That's right. So, so that's their one problem. The second problem that they're taking a lot of heat for is that they were very anti-marijuana in terms of the medicinal purposes. They even funded the anti-marijuana campaigns and now it's come out that they're actually starting to manufacture synthetic medicinal marijuana. In other words the implication is that they were trash talking or down talking uh, people who smoke the stuff or yes. rub it on with some other cream and mm. that the real reason for that was that they were trying to bring to the market products Correct. which would then benefit from that counter reaction. Yeah the thought is it was just to buy them time so they, they could get a viable product to market oh, and, and you know that that's that's angered a lot of people. Um, but maybe you want to chat about the, the joint venture, which is yes, the exciting part. Yes, let's do that because that. the product is called Dronabinol and it is the synthetic mm. THC and then it gets marketed as Syndros as well. But they make some pretty solid claims for mm. it that uh, it's useful for anorexia or nausea related to other ailments like uh, HIV AIDS, chemotherapy. cancer, chemotherapy runoff. Yeah. It's oral, so it's all pretty safe, mm. although they also make a spray. But they're predicting sales of 200 to 300 million dollars per year and AbV is a very very powerful and important partner to have yes that's a massive stamp of approval if you have the likes of a company that big yeah. co-developing co and marketing this thing for you yeah so I, I think that is the compelling reason if you're looking at Insys to yeah. potentially be involved but you could also argue why not just go for the the AbV pure play yeah. which we both like well the thing is the AbV is a pure play but in terms of Hugh Mirror and all sorts mm. of other things Yes. So this is the one that you want to be in if you, if you think be in, drone of all is going mm. to be a surprisingly good seller, mm. which I guess it may or may not be. So what do you think, hot or not? Um, look, I, I'm going to say not hot. Mm. Uh, they're also having some problems with the demand for their flagship drug at the moment. Um, that's impacting cash generation. So yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a few question marks for me here. Okay, well let's yeah. give it a pass.